ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله my respected brothers and sisters in islam dear listeners assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh all praise is due to allah I bear witness that he is one with no association and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and messenger. The best of words are the words of Allah and the best of guidance are the guidance of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And anyone who involves in innovation will go astray. Anyone who goes astray ends up in the hellfire. May Allah guide us onto the right path and may Allah enrich us with knowledge of benefit that we can end up in paradise be in the light of baraka wa ta'ala amen our topic for this moment is about being truthful and its benefit then the effects of lying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the alquran ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu ittaqullaha wa kunu ma'as sadiqin o ye who believe fear allah and be with the people of the truth be with truthfulness so he has encouraged the human being to be truthful and then he discouraged us from lying by saying inna alladhina kadhabu bi ayatina wa astakbaru anha la tufattahu abwaabuhum abwaabus sama those who lie against our signs and show arrogance when they die the heavens will not be open to them and they will never enter paradise so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us about lying most certainly, if someone is truthful to his Lord and to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and to all people, he would be laughed by people because of his truth. And the one who lies is always disliked by people. Islamically, these two are opposite to one another. Being truthful brings you benefit and lying brings you the effect of punishment in hereafter. In this regard, we read the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's hadith where he says, Alaykum bis siddhaqah. Be with the truth. Fa inna siddhaqa yahadi ila bir. Because truthfulness leads to good deeds. Wa inna birra yahadi ila jannah. And good deeds leads to paradise wa inna rajula la yasduqa wa yataharra as-sidqa hatta yuktaba inda Allah as-siddiqa you would find someone to be truthful and he is always on the truth until it to be written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his holy book that this is a person of truth wa iyakum wal kadhib and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warned abstain from lying Beware of lying. فَإِنَّ الْكَذِبَ يَحْدِي إِلَى الْفُجُورِ Because lying leads to bad deeds. وَإِنَّ الْفُجُورَ يَحْدِي إِلَى النَّارِ And being lying or bad deeds lead one to the hellfire. وَإِنَّ الرَّجُلَ لَا يَكْذِبَ وَيَتَحَرَّ كَذِبَ حَتَّى يُكْتَبَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَذَّابَ You would find someone to be lying and continue to lie until it will be written before Allah that he is a liar. So the effect of lying is very great. What is truth? Truthfulness are divided into different categories. One has to be truthful with his Lord. Being truthful with the messenger of Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Being truthful with himself. Being truthful with people. How do we understand this? Now, being truthful with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that concerns our belief in Allah. For if we say, La ilaha illallah, there is no God save Allah. That means, La ma'buda bi haqqin illallah, there is no one who is worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you have to be truthful to Allah. It has to be from the heart that you believe in Allah. Your la ilaha illallah 
has to be stamped in your heart that there is no one beside Allah in everything that you do, in your worship, in your dealings with Allah, in your words when you say the La ilaha illallah. It has to be by the tongue, yes, but the heart has to accept La ilaha illallah. And the only one who can see what is in the heart is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you go to pray, you are not praying because you want people to see that you are a good prayer. Or you are praying. Or you are fasting. Or you are giving alms to the poor. But rather you are doing all these because... You love Allah, you are obeying Allah in your truthfulness and you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward you here in this world and also in the hereafter. So you have to be truthful with Allah. You don't worship any type of worship to attain anything from any human being. So there is no riya. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Al-Quran, As-Sadiqina wa Sabirina wa Al-Qanitina. So he says, he joined the people of the truth with those who have Iman and with those who are on the right path that in the hereafter, they are going to gain. We have to be truthful with our Lord. Then come into the truthfulness with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We have to believe in every word that has been said by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to be the truth. Someone asked the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Do we have to write everything that you say?" A Jew said to this Muslim, "That Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a human being, so you don't have to write whatever he says because he may make mistakes or he may say things that are not right." So the Sahabi went and asked the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said write everything you hear this time for it says nothing but the truth. And someone may say something and relate it to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but in actual sense it's not the right thing. He may say the Prophet says and the Prophet agrees on something that actually he didn't. So the Prophet says, Man Anyone who intentionally, knowingly lie against me should look for his place in the hellfire. In this regard, we don't have to lie against the Prophet Muhammad. And lying against the Prophet is not only lying in what he says, but lying in things also that he has commanded us to do. So if you do opposite to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa it means you are lying against him. Unless you confirm that he says the truth, but you are weak in your faith. He has said the truth, he has commanded us to do something. For instance, he says, grow your beard. These are the words of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Don't say no, he didn't say so. Or he says something that he didn't say. So lying on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is lying against Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has commanded us to obey the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya ayu al-lazina amanu ati'u allaha wa ati'u rasul. O ye who believe, obey Allah, follow Allah, and also obey the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who is the Rasul. Rasul means the Messenger of Allah. Now, one has to also be truthful with himself. You say you are a Muslim. In your Islam, every word that you say should be the truth. For you should not lie. Allah has warned us in the Al-Quran, just as I mentioned in the beginning of this lesson, and there are so many verses, and there are so many examples. I will give an example of a truthful person who didn't lie, and due to his truthfulness, he gained something that continues to benefit him even after his death. 
and that was Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah. Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah, while he was a young boy, he once told the mother, oh mother, I want to go and seek knowledge. So I need advice from you. The mother said to Imam al-Shafi'i, listen, I have nothing to tell you or to advise you on than to tell you that be truthful. Say the truth and never lie. And he said, thank you, mother. So he went on his journey. And in those days, they go on camel's back, travel on the camel's back or on horses. And while he was in the desert, Arm robbers attacked him to steal his money or to do anything to him. When they caught him, they said, Young boy, where are you going? He said, I'm going to seek knowledge. They said, Do you have anything on you? At that time, he had a lot of money on him because he's going on a journey. The mother gave him some money. An example, for instance, he mentioned that I have 70 dinars on me. An example. And that amount of money with such a young boy at that time of the night was very dangerous. To the extent that these thieves or armed robbers became surprised and said, SubhanAllah, how can a boy or a man of your type have this much money on you? Well, it means that his case was so serious that they couldn't make a decision on him. They sent him to their leader, leader of the thieves, and said, this boy is saying he had 70 dinars on him. Then the leader said, oh, young boy, why didn't you lie to them so that you can escape? He said, I have promised my mother never to lie, and I would not lie. This is the amount I have on me. And the leader of the thieves himself became surprised. With the truthfulness of Abu Shafi, then he said, You are keeping the promise you have made with your mother. And I have broken the promise I have made with my Lord. The promise I have made with my Lord is La ilaha illallah, but I'm going against La ilaha illallah by stealing, by going against the words of Allah. Then he said at that time, I have repented. I will never lie again to my Lord. And from today, Imam Shafi, I am making tawbah before you that I will always be a good person. Then all the thieves, since their leader has given up, they also give up and say, we have also made tawbah and we will never lie to our Lord. And all of them turn to be the students of Imam Shafi. He taught them and they became good people. And in the end, what are they going to benefit? They are going to get Jannah. And since they have been truthful, everything that they see that is true and is going to lead them to Jannah, Imam Shafi'i is also going to get the benefit of it. So we can see with this small example, brothers and sisters in Islam, listeners, you have to understand that being truthful is very beneficial. No matter what situation, no matter whatever happens to you, you have to be truthful and abstain from lying because lying will lead you to nothing except leading you to a destruction here in this world and lead you to the hellfire. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us, make us be to be truthful and also to abstain from lying. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.